Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. Well, go on, you know, my dad. Man, hey man, we got a special guest here today, y'all. If you guys are in the art, man, you about you in for a treat, man. This guy right here, man, dedicated his life to doing different pics, uh, portraits, man. This guy has been painting for many, many years. Um, C Ray, yes sir. <coughs> C Ray is uh, uh one of the guys that that I admire. I've been looking at a lot of his paintings, man. A lot of things that he do it floats around not only the city, but just if you see it on the internet. Uh, from Ice T, I've seen you do. I, Cause I just left Ice T interview. Mm -hmm. I seen that. Did you do that before the Ice T interview or after? It was before. How, how long before? I I saw him do an interview with Big Boy, and he was talking about the uh it's it, the, the TV show and him being the longest running male actor in history. And I don't know how long ago that video. Mm -hmm. that it, it, it's probably like a, at least a month old or something. It's a, it's a fresh video, Ice T. But uh, I saw that and I said, oh man, I gotta paint that. That's history. Wow. That's T. I mean, I didn't. I mean, I love, you know, you know, I Law and Order. In Law and Order, and, mm -hmm. and because of him being on there, and then you got LL who did his thing later. But I said, man, I gotta, I gotta go ahead and immortalize that. I'm sure he hadn't seen nothing, you know, just just gonna glorify his uh, acting role. Did you send it to him, or did you? No, no, I just did it. I just painted it. I mean, a lot of there's a lot of stuff that I do. I let God handle it. Like this, I, I was going to do either way. Would you way. like to get it to him? That would be a goal. Okay, well, you, you know, all you got to do that, is tell me. That will be a goal, you, you know. You just say it, we'll do it. We'll He's seen it. it. He yeah. has seen it. I, I, don't, I don't know. You don't know. I, I, was posted you posted it. I just it? did it and posted it. No, because I was no. wondering if he, yeah. like, commented on the no, needs or anything I, like that. I haven't heard of it. And you tagged him in it. I tagged him in it. Yeah, I tagged Coco. I put him on it. So I yeah, definitely put long. them on it. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll, I, I put it in his living room. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah, he has a lot of art of them uh, in them, there. And yeah, that's but what nothing he, like that one. That's what I was saying. Yeah, I hadn't I seen like that one. I like doing stuff just outside the box that, you know, people who celebrities, they get all type of stuff. Correct. And if I'm going to do something, it's going to be something that I, maybe it's you and your daughter. Maybe uh, I like to come at it at a different angle, you know. so Who was another one that, that you... Uh, Tied out. Well, let's let's go back. Yeah, I was about to say you. We're about to jump all the way into it. Yeah, let's, let's, so, let's go back. Are you born and raised here in Dallas? I'm born and raised in Dallas. Uh, grew up in Lancaster, though. Okay. <clears throat> uh, when I went to school all throughout Lancaster, Weibo, you know, ended up. I always did art all throughout Lancaster uh, through my junior high years, and I was painting uh, the barbershop windows at the Dollar Movie. You know, barber. You know, I always found a way to do art. Whether I was doing my friends' murals on their walls when I was in high school, uh, other than, you know. Because murals pay, because I've met some artists. Like, you know how, like, when you go to small towns, and small towns love to do huge murals on the side of, like, the walls, the banks, whatever. Yeah. And I always stop and talk to some of these people. And when I find out how much they get, I'm like, some of them banking some good money. Oh, yeah. I mean, mural work is really out there. Um, I started out. Right when I got out of school, I actually got a full scholarship to go to the Art Institute of Dallas mm. from high school. So I went straight to the Art Institute because I like graphic design. Mm -hmm. And I actually do graphic design as another, you know, as a day job as I do my art. But uh, my whole thing was uh, I liked to do the, a mesh of both, really, is what I like. You know, I like hip hop music and that type of thing. But um, I started out um, doing mm -hmm. artwork for family and friends. And uh, I even uh, got a uh, got on the de uh, the vendors list for DISD. I did uh, did murals at Wilma Hutchins Sock over there with Coach Mays, uh, mm -hmm. uh, a few different other schools. But uh, mm -hmm. so how much did you get for your first paying job? Uh, and how old were you when you got paid that? Well, my first paid job actually. Well, okay, let me start with this. When I was in high school. I was doing murals in some of my fr my classmates' right. rooms, and they're like, "Okay." But well, oh, so they paid you? Oh yeah, they paid. Oh, okay. Like, like they had their parents. Like I'm painting barn yards and and all type of stuff. Okay. So I think my first payment might have been eight hundred dollars to do a wall, mm. and that was like my juke, probably sophomore year mm -hmm. in high school. But uh, my first commission job or uh job where I made some, some real money was probably going to be when I was with DISD. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started getting the contracts, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, where I'm doing hallway paintings and that type of stuff. But um, I always had a love for doing 
portraits. That's Portrait really piece. my thing, doing people. You know, I'm painting, painting. you know, maybe grandma died, mm -hmm. you know. Or, and you paint from pictures. You don't you, always paint like, you know, when you watch TV and you see somebody sitting there naked and you had to paint them. I had to do that artist too. And the artist, that was the first time when we had the live, the live models, the nude models, and you have to paint them. And, it, and, and it's good for like, where you can learn perspective mm. and learn how to draw form, life form, and that too. Yeah, wow. the professionalism. But how did you feel the first time when you had to paint man, somebody the, naked? The first there? time, the first time. Was it a male was, or female? It was a female. Okay. The first one was a female, then we had a male. But the first time we had a female, these are not. Like, and you're a kid. You're still a teenager. Uh, yeah. And all of us, we were like 19, 20. Right. And we're all laughing. Like, like we're, we're not laughing <laughs> in front of the model. But we, we're like, man, we got to draw. And then, you know, they, you know, they give us like, hey, concentrate. this is serious business. And you know what I'm saying? So we have, these ain't no runway models. These are regular people that oh, we were paying. Oh, okay. So it ain't nothing okay. like, you like, oh, man. Nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and it was all about getting the detail, mm -hmm. you know, every wrinkle, everything, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And that kind of fine tunes you on your detail. Okay. But that was more of a, you know, the technical side. Cause I'm just used to, I'm more of a street artist. Cause you know, I'm just used mm -hmm. to doing on the Tupac's fly. and you know, doing, right. you know, the stuff that, you know, that I like, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But it's And you had gotten you. a scholarship there, right? Yeah. Got the full scholarship. So was that the only school that had reached out to you for a scholarship well, or that's the school that you chose? Well, that's the school that I chose. Uh, I had like UNT. I had a couple of options that, that weren't full rides though. Okay. But this um, was a full ride. And, and I always want to do the programs they were offering as far as graphic design was real cut, cutting edge back in 97 when I graduated. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm in it. It's, two, it's a two year program. You get an associate's degree, but you get to learn all this other stuff that I already knew where I want to go. Mm -hmm. I want to do album covers and go straight to ad agencies and stuff. I, you know, I work for Auto Trader magazine, laying out, you know, all the car ads and all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So. I got right where I need to get. So that's the reason why you chose them. Yeah. Okay. So. I want because the other day when you were here, I was telling you about my daughter, yep. and at that time she hadn't gotten her scholarship. Well, they contacted us, and we did a big thing on our set, and Congrats. they awarded her a, uh, a scholarship to Texas oh, yeah. University of Texas in Austin. There you go. So that was just a big deal, and she was happy about that. Um, yep. Shout out! She over there sitting down right there now. Okay. Yeah. But um, but yeah. So after college, how did you? What did you do? And um, who, like the first big celebrity that you actually got recognition from when you did their art? Um. Okay. So right out of when I got out of art institute, I, I got a, a job at an advertising agency in, in Arlington. That actually, mm -hmm. I worked for three months, and then they ended up folding. So uh, I was back on just trying to put my resume out there and get stuff, and actually. Uh, Big T Bazaar mm -hmm. uh, is a, is a DJ named DJ Cap. You know, mm -hmm. you know, he's like my Cap the bomb, bomb banger. Cap the <laughs> bomb. Uh, he boy. was he was looking for somebody to do some uh, art artwork for his logos, his okay. CD covers that he was doing all this uh, all this stuff. And, and and I already had kind of a buzz around the city because people know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, "Man, see, Ray, I, I need you." You know what I'm saying? I work for Cap. Uh, for like three, four years straight, you know, but he, all the way till he ended up moving out of there. Right. You know what I'm saying? But me doing those album covers, you know, I, I was doing stuff like Stampede Records. Like we were doing a lot of stuff for whatever acts he was doing. He was mm -hmm. tying me into a lot of stuff. Um, but uh, I did that for a while. But uh, how the celebrity stuff finally popped out for me, I know a lot of club promoters in Dallas too. And uh, one of my friends, uh, he was like, man, C Ray paints his paintings like within eight hours to twelve within a day. I'm real quick on my turnaround. Mm. So like my first opportunity, uh, it, I was working with the men. And what kind of painting is this? Is that um, water paint, oil paint? Um, I use acrylic. I acrylic. use all acrylic because it dries fast, you okay. know, and, and and you don't have to wait on. You know, you can do it on the fly. You can, it, you know, and it, it depends on the size of the painting, yeah. of course. Okay. And uh, he was like, man, hey, well, we got some, we got different celebrities coming into the city. What we can do if you want to do a partnership, we'll let you present to these celebs. Mm -hmm. You tie in us as the promoters, you know, okay. as we brought you in, and then you can build your following with the celebs and see how it go. We can make sure they, they, they give you a spotlight on their social media. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, you getting a trade off for the payment. Right. Right then, because you're getting in front of millions of, of followers. Mm -hmm. So my, my first one they had me do was actually Rashida. Rashida was in town, mm. and that was the first one I did in Dallas. And, uh, 
And through Men of Business, we did a whole bunch of stuff from Rashida to, uh, man, pretty much everybody. T.I., Trey, Slim Thug. Uh, so you handed handed your painting to them yeah, personally. Yeah, we like, well, with the bottle girls coming out with the, with the bottles. Wow. It was a presentation. They had a celebrity catress who would give them a cake. See, Ray, bring the artwork. We bring the artwork out. So it was a whole presentation as a group. Okay, that's dope. And uh, and then slowly after that, like... Can we find any of those videos anywhere? Everything is on my IG. On, on so the you can, we can see all of that? Everything. Okay, it's cool. It's timeline all the way back to 2014 when I started it. And um, I just started doing all type of artwork. My first big one that I did that was just off the fly off of social media. I did a painting of Martin Lawrence. Mm. Uh, the episode with the CD player where he's walking around like Nino <laughs> Brown. That's my favorite. The Who Stole the CD player. Uh -huh. I said, I got to paint that. I painted it, and I sat on the painting for the year, a year. We tagged him, never heard anything. Mm -hmm. I reposted it a year later. I get a hit from Martin Lawrence himself. Wow. Through IG, through DM. He was like, hey, man, I love that painting. How much you want for it? I said, man, you a legend. Just pay for the shipping, Martin. He said, he sent me the information. He says send it to my you know send it to my people, and we did it. And he was like, man, you at that time he was like, man, you're the only piece of artwork. Your artwork is the only piece I got in my house. And Dang. this is Martin Lawrence. And, did, did and I'm you like, this out or anything? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm still on this page right now. On down is he's like, man, he did a, a couple of paintings. I mean, a couple of posts with me at first because I had a I had a Martin shirt. I did one where where he had got <laughs> lumped up by you know when Tommy Hearns yeah, had lumped. Yeah, yeah. I had I had ordered a shirt and I had that on and I took a picture by the painting. He posted that first. He said, man, look at this dope artwork. Just before he got it, he posted that first. Then I ended up shipping it to him. He took a picture of it in his office while he working on his desk and said, hey, y'all, because of C-Ray Art, I'm going to start doing Fan Art Fridays. We're going to start sh shining the light on all these other artists and start, you know, doing it like that. But he didn't have to do none of that. That was our God. Mm. I, didn't, I, just, I just sent it and I was like, Let, you know, and a lot of this stuff is that. You so know, Martin show, um, that's a show that me and my daughter, we real big on Martin. You know, we love Martin. Mm -hmm. Um I just uh, <clears throat> so when you think about like that whole '90s run he had, man, <sighs> epic, right? Yes, sir. So he a goat. So would you say you 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 used to watch that a lot? Oh yeah, every episode. Well, what's your favorite episode? That episode. That one. That one Who's that he said, See, that's uh -huh. the one. I, that's why I paid. That's why the fake dog. That and the fake dog. And, and let me tell you something. I just did another one because my second favorite episode was the one where he did Jodeci. When he came out on the Barnell <laughs> yeah, Hill show. Yeah, and Barnell Hill is a fool on that. Hey. Because he was like, yeah, you know, that's just show business when you tell him, you know. That was my sick. I said, I got to paint it. So I got KC looking pissed off and Martin is singing in the space. And I got Barnell standing there like, man, you ruining my show. So Did you send that one to him? I got something in the works. But Martin don't want that. But I got something. It's a surprise. It's good, But, but, but stay tuned on that. You love to surprise one. people, don't you? I like, that's it. I, I don't like really talking about stuff until it's done. Because right. a lot of people shoot themselves. A in lot the of foot. my success is because... I'm a one man show. I don't talk about a lot of stuff, and it ain't always it's business to me. When I'm when I'm going to when they say C Ray, we got a celebrity. I ain't trying to kick it with you or none of that. Let me here's the pain. Let me you know. Let me get the Photoshop. I did when I met Cardi B when before she blew up. I'm like man, I'm meeting all these people. Then I start doing Earl Spence, Zeke. I start getting all these people. Then I'm. In the, in the market Earl of doing Spence. Earl, you know, Dallas Earl DeSoto. Earl Spencer, Dallas. That's so it. what did he say when he when you, when he seen the paint? Man, Earl done got five more paints from me because of, you <laughs> love the first paint. The first one. Yeah, the first paint we did is that, you know, I did one. I, I forgot who it was. It was one of his earlier fights. But uh, they were having a party for him, uh, and they said, man, do something, C-Ray. And I did it. It was when he had the truth. He had, like, the, the American, almost like some Creed-type boxes on. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, man, you did that, C-Ray. And, and he's been loyal. He was like, I did his daughters. He, he hit me up, like, probably five months later. He said, hey, I need you to do my two girls. Hit that one. And then we done kind of build a relationship. Like, you know, he just hit me when he needs something. Did you, you ever know? see him being... Uh the boxer he is today. Did you see him early on? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, I mean, he just he was just a cold dude. Even you know the limit. Just following his pedigree of what he's been doing, you know, I already knew he who he was going to be, and and he had name, and it's, it, people knew if you just follow boxing, you knew it. But for him to you know just to be having a run like he's been having, even after the accident and even after all this stuff, you know, it's here in Dallas. You What's know, what your I'm most saying? favorite fight you've ever seen him in? Man. I don't know. I, I think I might. I might have to go with 
when he went overseas. That's the one. That's the Kill that's Brooks. That's the, the Kill one. Brooks. The Kill he was Brooks doing one was the one. It was more than Dallas. It was America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he did Kill Brooks. Kill. I, I painted that one, and I that's got him outside leaning the down. Came out on all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, that would that would probably mm, be that would one. probably be the one. Earl is is different, man. Earl is a guy that you know he shows the city justice, man, and and, and Derek his his uh his co- his manager, yeah, Derek James, Derek James. I did one for Derek, yeah, Derek, yeah. Derek Cole. Like what they've done for Dallas, man, and to be lo- people that look like us is something on a whole nother level. You yeah. know, when you see him jump in the ring and you know he straight from where you where you reside, man. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Yeah, well, you mean well, Earl started with the shag, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, uh, you yeah. know, but. It, it's it's love and, and just to know that I know him, you know what I'm saying. I'm like this is a this is a goat. This is, he going down in history. When you got people talking about you like Mike, all these the, the ghosts know you, you know. And you know you uh, are. Yeah. So he just got to keep his head on, and, and and you know everybody wants this. You know the fight everybody wants. Well, yeah. The, 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 but but is that getting old? Like, uh, like uh, it's getting old because they're getting older. I don't know. I, I was hyped about it this last time, but it kind of you start you start looking like man. Is you it know, gonna happen? Yeah. Like you, know you don't want to be let down. At the end of the day, they they say. The, that they say Bud ran from him this last time, said that it was a weight factor. Or he took another fight yeah, before yeah. he could get to him and all that. You know, is he running from? Do you think he's running from Earl? I think so. You think you're running? I from think him? so. Because Earl didn't put it out there. He got the shirts. He he, well, he looking for Bud. You know, he's been putting it out there, and, I, and it's always seemed like it's always something else. I don't think it's Earl running. Yeah, I have black, uh, black from Fight Fan on here. Yeah, black and black. What? You know, black say he kind of. You know, I think that a lot of stuff just happening in boxing. It's the other day he was talking, just a few days ago he was talking about you know kind of backing off the the whole you know trying to you know push that coach in that boxing world. Of course, yeah. it'll still go on, but I don't think nobody even was bringing essence to it on YouTube like Black did yeah. when it came down to Fight Fan and him and the guys and CC and people that they, the thing that they done was so extraordinary. But boxing became a thing in Dallas and I think I think uh, Earl Spence was a big reason that that, that Fight Fan even happened to be yeah. honest with you with Black. Yeah. You know, because we represent hard for the people that rock with us, you know. It, it's a glorious time to be in Dallas right now. I yeah. mean, on all aspects, we just got a lot of stuff you got Lee Merritt who's uh, you know who's doing stuff with Ben Crump on the legal front I always fighting uh, Tatiana Jefferson Botham John um, I, I've been able to work with some people and do some stuff through my art that I always my goal was like art is my ministry and I rather I rather have a million people own my stuff than make a million dollars if I make the million dollars it'll come I'm not gonna chase the money but I rather my paintings be that impactful and then I'll touch people with what I'm doing and I've been blessed to have some opportunities through God just opening doors to where you I just gotta do it, you know, type of thing. But it's just like the to, to, to kinda of go back to Martin. Martin could that could anybody he, he get artwork all the time, but for him to to pick me out at a you know and just kinda, you know, show love like that was that's more than just us. What it's rapper God. that sticks out to you when you did a paint for him that it, it was like a big deal for you? Let me see. I, I'm gonna say Mo three Mo, Mo for one. Wow. I'm, I'm gonna go with three for for one because after he got locked up and came out of jail, Rainwater was already was like you know because I had did stuff for Yellow before him before three but three he he was really like when he got the artwork he was always pictures. He was showing the artwork off, you know. He he wasn't just like oh, I got it or whatever, but he really appreciated. It. And uh, I would say that. And then also, I mean, I've done, I've done some stuff, but so Mo three, how big understand. was that? Like to see him now that he's passed on, but to have that in your memory bank of him uh, exploring your art, showing your art love. You still can get the visuals and show them uh, the fact that he rocked with you. How big is that? How- it, it's it's really major because. It's one thing to to never. I met him when you sit up there and talk to a guy, and and and, and you know it's a real connection, and it's almost like I don't want to say like no Tupac stuff, but like he was a uh, like for Dallas, you of know what I'm saying? Generation. To be around him, you know what I'm saying? And the talent, the singing, the he was different. You know what I'm saying? It was just you know he was about to blow. He was messing with Boosie. He had a lot of stuff that was finna come down the pipe, and then it's just like man, why? And it's just like Dolph. Dolph was trying to get some work for me before he got killed. Wow. 
I got conversations with Dolph right before he died, and he was like, "Man, where you at?" And I, the Dolph Museum has two of my pieces on the on the pop up museum coming, wow. you know, just on. Tra- and it's How just did you like, make that happen though? After Dolph had passed, well, I, I'm in the Trap Museum right now because the mm. Trap Museum, I did a piece of Young Jeezy, and uh, Trap Museum just reached out to me. They saw it and they liked it. And it was like, well, who uh, owns the Trap Museum? Well, Ti is over of the trap. Of course, you know. Okay, so he reached out to you. Well, well, yeah, Ti has the curators. So the curators okay. for the store, like, uh, you know, I, I do. It's a couple of different people that had the chain of command when I first got over uh-huh. there. But our selector is uh, well, shout out to her. She she actually she looks out for me. She was like, she got me on Dolph stuff. But they already had my Jeezy in the Jeezy exhibit. My pain is right there by the snowman. Did so, you, how did Jeezy end up with it? Did they just ask you for it, or did? Oh uh, yeah, I had to ship it. It's a contract. It, it, no, it's real. It's it's on display. Like I sign a contract every year. So you want to have your piece selected, you know? So it's a. Uh, they do everything legit, you know, and, and they put stuff up for sale if it's, if somebody wants to buy it. Wow! But I just renew my truck contract every year, and it, I was I came I just I was selected. They reached out to me, and you don't have to safe. pay to have it in there. No, no, okay, it's a blessing. Good. Yeah, that's I don't good. pay anything, and it's that's it's advertisement. A and you know, some of our galleries galleries they're gonna make you do that, but right. the trap museum is us. What made you do Jeezy? That's good. I love Jeezy. I just well, what you do love it. about Jeezy? Is it that because he's he got the man the motivation? Uh, the man, just the, his whole yeah. flow. Yeah, yeah, all that, all that, all that. But it, it, it was just I paint what I like. You know what I'm saying? And I just happen to like that and. I sat on the paint and I did the paint and it, it took a while for that for that to even. But I I, I hold on to all my stuff. So um, you still hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. But yeah, uh, that's how that happened and uh, it just led to this Dolph thing. But uh, it's just so many opportunities. It's, it's like networking. Everything is networking and doing what you say you're gonna do. You know, so many people have, have contacted me on stuff, and it's just about can you do it? If I can't do it, I'm going to say I can't do it. What's the, but, hold what, on, I have a question. But which you keep doing all of these paintings, these paintings, are, you normally do it just out of the goodness of your heart and give it to someone. How much does it cost for you to paint? Now, the commission, like, like I say, not, I got No, like, with, with, I'm talking about, like, how the, the paint, the canvas, the time, all the, like, the materials. All of that. How yeah, much is it? It varies. He don't want to give up his game on oh, him I'm like sorry. that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean well, it, put it, it, way, how much does the painting cost, like, somebody would like yeah. to buy one? It, it, like, in general, like, in just general, depending like on like if it's somebody, from, it, may, it may range anywhere from $800 okay. to 5000 Okay. Just depending on the size. I do it off the detail, how many mm-hmm. people, what the subject matter. Cause every every paint is different, and I hate mm-hmm. to go into a paint. You think you undershoot how long it takes you, but you stuck to a price. Mm-hmm. Cause well, that's what you quoted them, and a lot of that, and even with you know, doing dealing with porches and stuff, a lot of that stuff. When you usually do that, when I take on a commission, it's gonna be a, a situation where okay, well, this is how many changes you get. This is how uh, this understandable. Oh, so all of that is yeah, okay. you got to because the people will have you doing fifty million changes mm. sometimes, you know, and you you want the customer to be happy. That's my main mm-hmm. thing. I want you to be happy with what you got. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, it's what's the most expensive case. painting you've ever done? Five thousand. The most expensive painting I don't I, I actually saw was a painting I did for the Botham John Foundation, though Cynthia Marshall of the Mavericks. Wow, mm. she bought it at the you know at, at a gala. Mm. You know, and then she ended up donating the paint back to the organization. You know, wow. what I'm saying? that's just that's just a love, yeah, charity. And she was like, "Man, I want now. Nah, we're gonna do that with five thousand. Wow, you know, so that's love. But, uh, How did that make you feel? I don't know. That I feel bliss. You know, that's what I, I feel like I'm Beyond really measure. doing what I, I'm here to do. Wow, that's you heavy, know? man. But what makes an artist's um, value go up? I think when he dies. No, no, I say, I no, because like not. you kept out a five thousand right now in a painting, but like say somebody no. say at a, a gallery, just like I know you said, when they die, you sell for a lot more. They like auction that, something for way more. Well, let me just Does say this: the 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 auctions, Southe- like Sotheby's, like the big but, auctions, you get the right. That's one line of way of getting it. If right, you get an art, as soon as your piece goes, say if you go to an auction like Sotheby's, and I got a piece that goes for fifteen grand. What's that dude named that Jay Z loves so much? Basquiat. Mm-hmm. Basquiat painting. He did. Them go for how long? How much? Well, shoot, they going for millions now. Millions. But, they, but he was getting a lot of money before he died too, though, because he was with Andy Warhol. Millions. Yeah. yeah, he was in New York. He was in mm-hmm. Soho. He was in the. He was in the galleries with all the rich white upper echelon artists. He was in the right he, places. Yeah, and he knew the right people. So you sense. get and, and and like you said, it's about who you know and and it's mm-hmm. who sets a, a price point. In that's a, what I'm saying. In a public forum, exactly, because that's the gonna public make forum your... when they know your stuff was mm-hmm. sold for a million or whatever. 
Oh, it's no, it's no debating that. Yeah. You know, because we could say stuff behind closed doors. Oh, I sold a painting down in Miami at Art Basel for eight grand. Okay. You could, somebody could, you could, you could easily say that uh, it's not a record. They, Sotheby's, you can look online. It's all dated. You know but, what I'm but saying? But do you think, like, okay, your value can, can go up. You have to, it's the way you present it, right? Every artist is different, too. Like Every artist is different. Art, that's, it's subjective. And it, sometimes it's the art, sometimes it's the artist, it's the story. Cause Just like the brand. The brand. You, you pay for the brand, and you are the brand. Yep. And and that's what I'm doing. Like I say, it's not a lot of artists that do like what I do. Cause um, I've I've been in art shows and art galleries, and they're like, man, you really, you got a lot of collectors, whether they celebrities a lot. We got a lot of artwork, but you got a lot of stuff in collectors' homes. Mm -hmm. That's another type of value. You, exactly, because that's at the end of the day. And, and I look back at some of the people that got it, like Martin. Like I got, you know, what I'm saying when I look at some of these people that can really speak up and. That's going to bring a value but if, if it's at the right I would think what makes a value too, especially to an art piece, like the piece that you painted for Martin, do you make it where like, I'd never paint that exact piece again? Oh yeah, it's, to it's make a one-on-one. It one -on -one. It right. It's a one-on-one. -on because -one. if somebody else comes to you and like, oh, I want that one. Oh, you can't do that. I mean, and, and, and there's a lot of it artists. It lowers the value. It depends. Like if, I, if it didn't go to Martin, it's one thing, I would have it printed. It's prints of that or mm -hmm. of that type of thing. But, once you know it's gone to the collector, now you got a one on one. Who would you like to paint something for that you hadn't done already? Obama. You hadn't done nothing for Obama yet? I mean, I've done Obama paintings. I got Obama, but, you but like I haven't to, done you like anything. To give it to him yeah. from hand I, to hand. But, but that, would probably be, that would probably be you know, something I would want to do. Uh, Obama yeah. is, 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 is one who I, I, I definitely know that. When I seen his painting, actually we was in DC, we was in DC at the art gallery, at the museum in mm -hmm. Washington, DC. Yep. And he has a painting in, in the, uh, it's, I think it's the African American yeah, museum. museum. Mm -hmm. And it's very dope painting of him. Mm -hmm. He's sitting there and he's Who sitting. painted it? That's Kendi Wiley. Kendi yeah. Wiley, with all, he's in a chair with all the green eyes right. behind That's him. right. That's Kendi Wiley. Yeah, yeah, I went to D.C. and seen that, me and my wife, and mm -hmm. just had a great time. My daughter, I took her up there because she's so fond of art. Yeah. We actually took her to the New York Museum as well. Yeah. Uh, then we did, we did, the that was an art, we decided to fly out, and uh, we actually made it a road trip, and we flew uh to D.C., and then we drove to, to New, New York. York. So I just rented a car, drove, I do that a lot, drove over to New York, and uh she, I got actually kept all the footage of it too. It's actually a movement, man, where I just want to look at her blossom. So yeah. that's dope, man. That's so good. have you have you done done that travel? Yeah, type? I haven't been to that museum. Like I've been to Cali, I've been to Modern, Modern Museum of Art, uh, I've been to Georgia's. I haven't been to that one though. I actually want to. I want to definitely DC, do that museum. It, that's huge. Yeah. Yeah. It's Smithsonian. Like yeah, it's, yeah. it's a Smithsonian. That's right. And uh, I actually, what's crazy is I did a piece for Terrence Crutcher. He was a preacher who got killed in Oklahoma City in Tulsa. Mm -hmm. He had his hands up. They, it was on the news. It went viral. I did a painting for his family. And uh, that was, the painting, I put him in a suit and everything because he had a grill. and he that Everything on the news, they were trying to show him like he was a hood dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he was a pastor. And, wow. And I did a painting of him in a suit and whatever. And it's, it was all on. At the funeral, they had it by the, uh, the, by the casket. And it made nationwide news. And the family was like, the museum, the African Museum, the Smithsonian wants that piece. They want it. And, and the family's like, we love it, Chris. And I, I was like, I'll do y'all another painting. Right. Because that, for it to go there, it's going to have, <laughs> for his legacy. <laughs> yeah. He's been in the what, museum. Because so, they're doing one on, on police violence. They're going to do a whole section just on, you know, every, anybody wow. that was murdered by the police. Wow. And it's still in the works. So hopefully, it, you know, that sure comes hope it happened, man. That's, that's big. That will be a dope. Huge. For you. You know, and I wouldn't even try to get in the museum, but to have a piece like that that means something of, you know, one of our people that got killed by the police, mm -hmm. that's where I want to be, you know. And, what helps, and what helps is that you have such a fast turnaround. So when you see something, you can just like, okay, I'm going to do this right now you and get it out there. A lot of people can't do that. They wait like days or even a week to finish their piece. And, and that's the big thing, too, because I'm, I'm never one that, I'm not a cloud chaser. My I don't like doing a lot of stuff, because a lot of pieces God. I do, they, they have something to do with death. For one, once you do a painting of a de of a loved one, a lot of times the people, a lot of family members won't paint after that. Mm -hmm. I want, and I tell them right, I, I'm only doing one because mm -hmm. I don't want to charge y'all for one. I'm gonna have to charge y'all if it's my time. Uh, yeah. But I don't even feel like that's. I don't want to be painting a, a bunch of dead memorial pictures, and 
I don't know. It's just the way I'm thinking. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Have you ever gotten emotional over a piece that you were actually painting? Botham, Botham John. I painted out there to Botham John. For one, he's you're crying when you're painting in Dallas, and there could have been me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So uh, that was a tough one for you to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, both them, definitely both them. You know, you sitting in your house eating a bowl of ice cream, mm-hmm. and oh, she's in the wrong place. Really, you get killed in your place. I mean, that could be anybody. You know what I'm saying? And this guy's from St. Lucia. You know, he was supposed to be big time in St. Lucia. He mm-hmm. was doing stuff here to go back and give St. Lucia, and you just never know. But that one really hit me, and then I, me knowing the family and just seeing them, I, I made it a, a dedication to myself. I said, whatever y'all do with this foundation each year, I'm going to make sure I'm a part of it. Whether it's a pain I donate or something that we can raise money for his name. He has the street, Botham John Boulevard on mm-hmm. the south. That's okay. But we really need to do, we, what else do we got for him? Right. You know, so. Right. Wow. Well, we want we want to take you. We see you brought us something, so we want to take a look at it, see what you got to unveil. Uh, Money Moses, come on over here. You got to be over here for this set. <laughs> you got to be over here for this set. The brother brother revealing his pain for us. What's you the know. best way for me to do this? On? Uh, we got all kind of cameras hitting you, man. So, right here, you good right there? Yeah, you good right there. But it's just something, man, I want to do, man. Give y'all y'all roses while y'all here to smell man, them, man. man. Y'all giving roses to everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So man. I just want to do something. That's hard, that, that man. Come on me, over man. here and get a, get a, you know get a view I'm of saying? that, man. That's hard right there, man. We appreciate you, man. See, Ray done put it on us, man. Hey, you know man. what I'm saying? That's hard, bro. Y'all like, are pillars in the community. Hold it up a little higher. Y'all are pillars yeah, in the community. Yeah, right there. I had it right, right there. I know. I, I got it. Make sure, you know, many more, you know, shoot all of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Thank you so going, much. Man, thank you so much, man. That'll work, man. Give me a hand clap Look. or somebody. Most. You can't, that man that did just, that's hard, man. He got my braids. I mean, I ain't got the braids in right now, but them braids, the detail on them braids are dope. <laughs> and hold on. Better when I cut it. <laughs> no, you see, he had to show ECEO waves, though. You see them waves? Yeah, they, they them waves be popping. Now. Man, I appreciate that, man. What's you know, love? Y'all continue that's big, doing y'all man. Doing. You know, that's the first art that we've ever received for sure. And man, that'll be on the wall in here, man. Definitely, man. We're gonna make that a part of the show. Exactly. We gotta Definitely. make that a part of the show, man. Definitely. Just appreciate the love and, and and respect, man, for you to come out and do that for us, man. That's huge, man. Yes, sir. Let me let me get a picture with you there in a minute. I we'll do it in all three of us in a minute. Sit back down. Let me talk to you a little bit, man. That's hard, right? There. I can't keep my eyes off of that, yeah, man. And hard. especially the way I'm expressing, you know. You see, how it's almost like I'm looking at you this. and you looking at me too, like we in no, love. No, I'm not looking at you right there. <laughs> I'm focused on. I'm focused. Hey, uh, where you get these pictures from? <laughs> <laughs> where you get these pictures from? Hey, you, 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 was, said. You, you was doing an interview. <laughs> I did a screenshot. I can't even remember. You were debating somebody about Boosie. Oh, dang. Oh, I, I, I can tell you, that was in Waco. I can tell you exactly who we were. Yeah. Had to be in Waco. That was, uh, with uh, my cousin, what, what, Mike Fresh, no. yeah, Mike Fresh, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly yeah, 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 yeah. That know. expression on your face, right yeah. there, is, that's, that's where I know from. <laughs> this is exactly where we're from, man. But I had to go down because I went to ECO's page and I was like, man, let me see what I got. Because you got an IG, but I think it, it, it was it didn't have no photos. It, you got a page or something? Yeah, I ain't got no. It wasn't nothing on there, and I was like, no, man, no, no, that's the wrong one then. Okay, I might have been on. He got there. a couple of. Them. Yeah, okay, I might have. I'll be on him. Believe me, it's something on there. If he, he, I'll be on him. He gonna have something on there. He ain't gonna. I just went to YouTube. I said, I said, let me put, let me just put Money Moses on her and and Boss Talk, and a few of them came up. I said, oh yeah, let me get that angle because I know I was gonna have you on the other side of them. That's but it's so man. crazy how you right? can screenshot something from a video and get it so precise. That looked just like her. Thank you. How long did it just take? Hey, we got it. Just like her. We got it. That's crazy. How long did it take you to do that that painting? Probably about 14 hours. Wow. Off off. None, I was back. about to say nonstop? No, no, I, I, no half a day and then it did it another day. 14 hours and you But after killed. I left You know last time I was here with you guys I was well, I was on you wasn't it Now you You were, you, you were subtle though But I, you showed me So much love though Yeah Cause you didn't have to A lot of people I be around a lot of people And just To see how you handled it When we was a camp Man guy. I'm gonna make sure That was man. love It's you know always that's just, always like that That's who we are and It ain't no fake Y'all are a lot like me in a, in a, in a, We do whatever To help the people art, man Yeah y'all doing it through the top Podcast Man <laughs> we, we love our people here Especially in The Dallas Dallas 
showed us so much love and embraced us so much and built the foundation here. Um, you know, it's big, man, the way the show done took off. But it's just it's just a, a remarkable thing. When you you talked about Calvin the Bum, you know, that's my guy. Like, really, that's my real. Like, we talk on the phone. Yeah. We we don't be on that thing for a minute because we always showed each other respect. Before Boss Talk, he just been a, he knew this store was here. Oh, and stuff. we got to say so much love to my guy, Bobo. Bobo. So I to Bo, I just talked to him before I came on the show. That's and another. that's how I seen you. I was really like, what the hell is going on? When I seen that PMC, I was like, you know, I'm a PMC fan. Man, bro, so when I seen that, I seen Bo and I seen And we Pim. saw it before he actually pushed out the show because we went over there to we help him and look there. over everything yeah. and everything and, and see whatever Those we can, how so we ever live, we can help him. DOC on that thing, man. Yep. That's and, all Erica, right? And then you did That's Erica. Yeah, I, seen Erica it. On, I hadn't seen it in person. Not in person. Yeah. Yeah. No. But I Bo got one coming to him. You know he got to get him and Jason. Oh, Kay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But he yeah. wanted me to do one with him with the chainsaw. You know, when he was doing Psycho Bubba. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, no. He definitely got a history. We hit that UGK history and him, man. Love Bobo. They've been on here right Actually, he came on here before he even started doing started interviews. Started the podcast. Anything. This was where, where you know, I was, if you rocking with me on that phone, you rock with me on yeah. that phone. You know how I rock, man. Yeah. It's always motivation and push. Yeah. And nigga, why? And why we ain't doing this? And let's do that, you know, because we only here, man. But it's, life is but a vapor, man. That's so it. just appreciate the love and respect, man. And uh, how, what if a person wanted to get a painting from you? How would they get a hold of you? Uh, right. The best way to hit me is actually, uh, you can go to my website, www.c-rayart.com. And I got an email link. You just put your question in there. And I check my emails. Or I'm on Instagram, c.ray.art. And you can just hit me in, in a DM. Check, man. And do you DM. have kids? Yeah, I got four kids. Wow. Four kids. I was going to bring that up, man, because uh, when I got married, well, I'm, I'm divorced now, but my wife had two kids. And they in their 20s now, but they both they both went to Skyline. And uh, with well, me being from Lancaster, whatever, but they, uh, you know, they big on Skyline. And okay. They're like, make sure you mention us in Skyline. Hey, on both sides. I want to say on both sides. You got to get that in there, baby. So, do yeah. any of them do art, though? None of them do art. None of them do that. Now, my baby girl, uh, I got a five-year-old, and she's she might. she's my ride or die. She be with me in the art in the studio at the house. Okay. So she might be my best bet. Man, mm -hmm. check it, man. Hey, man, if you watch Boss Talk 101, make sure you become a member of Boss Talk 101 on YouTube. Yes, sir. Or either you can hit us on Patreon for those full-length interviews early. Like I said, man, you guys, man, have been rocking with us. We love you guys, man. Like and subscribe to Boss Talk Money. Moses said that. He on the set right now, guys. Uh, Brittany Loso is in here too. We about to get into it. We got yeah, a whole bunch of talking to do. Did she went out? Yeah, I don't. She, oh, yeah, she get some to eat. okay. She'll be back though, man. Mm -hmm. We gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna get busy tonight. She huh? missed the reveal though. Bro, this detail she, perfect. Man, I yeah, oh, look, man. Great. I'm excited about the pain, man. Hey, man, it's been another great segment. A boss talk one on one. See, Ray, we love you, baby. Hey, man, appreciate y'all. You got your hand size right, man. <laughs> <laughs> say, say, it's been another great segment. A boss talk one on one. What a boss is talk. And we out. <laughs>